Hey, welcome to Noteflix. So I wanted to start a little uh, tutorial playlist on how to do some simple tutorials and how I do certain things. Um, this is your timeline. I use Filmora and uh, I'll be launching new videos from 6 a.m., 11 a.m., and 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. That'll be my new schedule for these. So the tutorial today, we're going to learn how to do the cutout feature. So let's head on over to stock media is up here. Um, and we're going to grab us a background. We'll just go ahead and add that one, keep project settings. And then we'll go back to stock media. We're going to stay in pixels and we'll search for a person, just some random person and then we'll check out our people yeah he looks like he he would be happy and content in that um, nice scenery so we'll go ahead and drag this down to the timeline double click it and then you head up here where it says AI tools and you click AI tools and you have chroma key AI portrait and smart cutout motion tracking stabilization and lens correction but where we're what we're actually looking for is the smart cutout so we're gonna click smart cutout then we're gonna click click to start smart cutout so we're gonna click that then let's look at our brush size I usually like to zoom in so you have this is your brush this is your eraser if you want to really clean up the edges this is drag and I'll show you how to use these um, you can change your color um, you can do preview mode, change that, your overlay color, and all that. You can go to advanced um, everything. But let's go ahead. I like to uh, zoom in to about 200%. Ooh, that's a little much on that one. About 100% on this one. So we'll use that hand up here and we'll drag it down. Simply drag it down like this. And then we'll check our brush size, go over to the brush. Uh, seems like a good, good enough size brush that I, I would use. So we'll go ahead and just drag it along his hair. It doesn't have to be perfect. I like to take out scoops or just do certain sections first. So, and then, I mean, it doesn't have to be for perfect. Like I said, you can use the erase function and it should take care of most of it. We'll go ahead and grab the hand again, bring it down, and then go back over to the brush. Let's go ahead and go around his ear everything let's get this big chunk right here interlock those and go ahead and get what's in left and go ahead. and then we'll increase that brush size just so we can just get that nice and done fast and we'll drag over to the right check make sure we got everything up there besides the few little straggler hairs go back to your brush come back We'll go up to his hair again. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always come back and erase. Some of you guys like to do perfection in the beginning, and that's fine too. Okay. We'll get their hand, drag him down. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down to uh, 50%. And then we'll go to our brush, and we'll go ahead and start outlining his beard. Like that. Get all that chunked out just like that. Now we'll bring our brush size down just a hair and outline his hoodie. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to get that outline of the image that you're trying to cut out. And you don't have to color everything in. You just kind of like drag it around and interlock these, uh, these channels right here and it should make it perfect. We'll drag this back down. I like to get one side or the other first. So go back to his, uh, or back to the brush again. And you kind of get the, the gist of what's going on. Go ahead and keep dragging down, get some big chunks going on. Lock that up. We'll drag to this side now. Get that brush. Go around that hoodie. A nice chunking channel, or whatever it's called. 
I'm not a pro or anything, so we'll drag this down. And I'll, I'll go ahead and fast forward this video a little bit, show you, kind of speed up the process, since you already know what you're doing now on this part. Drag, make sure we got everything, everything's perfect. And then we'll bring him back to fit. And if you notice anything that is out of the ordinary that you want to go ahead and just erase which it looks it looks okay we'll go ahead and keep it at fit and then what you're gonna do now is click start or click to start smart cutout so let's go ahead and click to start this and it'll go ahead and slowly cut him out depending on the size of the video file and it'll make him just by himself with your transparent background keep going tracking the processing and you can stop it whenever you want and then we'll hit save and there he is so now we'll go ahead and drag him onto the timeline and like I said depending on how big your file is we'll go ahead and click him and I want to make him a little bit smaller so we'll go here or you can go to basic and you can do your custom scales and everything and we'll just say he's at a, uh, a nice little scenery. And so now we can go and hit play and test everything out. I mean, you got his head cut off a little bit because that's the way the video is that he came from. But uh, this is how to do the, uh, the smart cutout function on Windershare Filmora. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, look to uh, Noteflix for some more tutorial videos. Thanks, bye.